Pakistan has spent years in political limbo. This election may keep it there. It's delivered a major upset, and now two sides are claiming victory. Imran Khan addressed his supporters from behind bars. My Pakistanis, you have laid the foundation for genuine freedom by voting yesterday. I congratulate you all for your election 2024 victory. I had full confidence that you would all come out to vote. You fulfilled my faith in you, and your massive turnout has stunned everybody. Hours earlier, Nawaz Sharif, trailing behind, did the same, whilst acknowledging he needed others. We don't have a majority to form a government. That's why we are inviting them to sit with us and form a government together. Many assumed the military would make sure he was the winner. But at the polling stations, Imran Khan backed independence delivered a blow to the status quo. Do you think the independents could actually get this? It's, it's more than likely if you look at uh, opinion polls, that's what it points towards. But then, of course, independents are open to being pulled one way or the other. And that may then uh, allow for things to be um, molded, shall we put it that way. Others might say pressured. Many have lost faith in this process. Khan supporters claim the results were rigged. The goalposts moved. Do you think the election is being stolen? Yes, it is. It is. They are, it has been, they are doing it for the last 70 years. But there is also something exceptional about this year. A man shot, jailed and banned, still somehow in the mix. Pakistan is full of surprises and this election delivered a big one. It is a shot in the arm of those who underestimated the level of discontent and desire for change. It does, though, raise the prospect of uncertainty in a country that desperately needs less. There could be days of horse trading. One party is trying to join hands to get ahead, now desperate to secure any kind of seat at the table, however messy that may be. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Islamabad, Pakistan.